What's going on YouTube, Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, you guys already know the deal, we're hopping back onto the ranked double ladder with this team right here. So if you guys are excited for today's video, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, thank you to everybody who watches these videos, supports the channel by subscribing, or just drops a like. Seriously, all those things go a long way. This team right here, we got ourselves a big boy Charizard team. You guys already know Charizard's a beast. With this Incineroar right here, it's going to be awesome. This is actually my first time using it, so I'm pretty hyped for it. We got Whimscott in that front spot. Just our Tailwind user with Charm. I love having a Charm Whimscott. I'll, I only get these like every here and there, but they're so good. Just drop physical attack. It drops it by two, so like Trick Room my peers and all that. We can just stop it right there. We have Fake Tears as well with that special defense drop. It's going to be big. Tailwind and Moonblast. So this Whimscott, I really do like this moveset on it. We got the Life Orb to Rattle Down with two stab moves with the Flash Cannon, Draco Meteor, Protect as a normal move, and our coverage move, ST Bolt. We got this big boy Incineroar, and I'm really happy that this thing has Snarl on it. Snarl is one of my favorite moves. You can control the match so much with this Incineroar, as it has Fake Out for turn one flinches, Snarl for special attack drop, Flare Blitz just for a stab damage move, and Parting Shot to pivot out and drop physical and special attack. And he also has Intimidate, so you can pop in, drop the physical attack, pop back out with Parting Shot, use your pivot move, come back in, Fake Out, use all that good stuff. So he's going to be a great control Pokemon for this team. Then we have this Milotic, this competitive Milotic with leftovers. I saw this move set around the meadow like a lot, a little bit like towards the end of the last season, but I never got a chance to use it. It has Coil to boost his stats, Muddy Water for stab, recover, and hypnosis so we can constantly sleep, boost our defensive stats, go Muddy Water, lower accuracy, all that good stuff, recover back up, have the leftovers as well. Then we have the Charizard, big boy Charizard. You guys already know the deal. You get this dude in the sun, it's game over. Holding that Charity Berry with solar power. Most people give it the life orb, but I really do like it with the Charity Berry as it can survive a rock attack and we can give the life orb to someone else like that to route on. So now we have two big attackers here and Charizard is just going to thrive under the sun and be able to dominate. Then in the final spot is one of my favorite back end Pokemon. It's going to be this Conqueror right here with Drain Punch, Mach Punch for first turn priority, Thunder Punch for that coverage move and Rock Slide as well with that Iron Fist with the ability Iron Fist so it can just like tee off on Pokemon. It's going to be nice and do more damage with its punch move. Holding out Assault Vest as well, so when we're in a pinch, we can actually eat up some more special attack moves. Guys, you want to use this team for yourself? Rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get straight into this. Let's get straight into this. Yeah, I want to borrow this team. We're going to get rolling. Last time I checked, we were like top 500. Pretty close to it. Pretty close to it. I was streaming and just teeing off. We were just teeing off early on in this season, so we're going to see what our rank is. It probably dropped a little bit. We're 14 and 10. We're 583 on the ladder. Let's go, let's go. A lot of those losses were because of missed moves, and I'm, like, so mad. Like, I'll own up to it if I lose, but, like, some of them... Whoa, whoa, whoa! We dropped that crap ton. But, like I'm saying, some of them, it's just like, okay, we lost, but some of them were just like, yo, missed moves can screw you over bail. Like, I was missing sleep powders and all that stuff, and it was getting crazy. Guys, you want to catch out my streams? I stream... Been streaming every single day since the quarantine, so, like, seven days a week. It's been crazy. We've been doing daily uploads and daily streams. Definitely pop out to them. Link is in the description below. Genius25. We've been doing viewer battles, just climbing the rank ladder, and also doing Animal Crossing content. Let's try to start this video off strong by getting a win. This guy is Inteleon Mimikyu. He has a real boom, Bisharp, Galarian Weezing, maybe with Neutralizing Gas, and a Silv Valley, potentially self-destruct Silv Valley. So if he leads that, I definitely got to go into the double protect. I definitely got to predict it and go into the double protect. But usually they, they lead the Rillaboom in with the Talion. So I'm going to go Whimsicott. Um, I want to go Charizard so bad. I really do want to go Charizard. Does he have any? He has Defiant, so I cannot go within, in with the Incineroar. I think Charizard is the call. I think Charizard is the call, I think. In my opinion. We just got to watch out. That Inteleon could be deadly. That Inteleon could be a nice little deadly Inteleon. You, you guys already know. Those things are absolute beasts. But we got to set the sun on our own, which is going to be good. If he goes Rillaboom and Talion, I can just take out the Rillaboom, set the sun, eat up his water move, whatever he wants to use, and then go after him. Um, but now whom? Now whom? Hmm. So definitely not Incineroar because I do not want to. I do not want to trigger that Bisharp. I do not want to trigger that Bisharp. Uh, this is Silver Valley. Do we have Protect on both these mons? We do. We do. I'm pretty sure we have Protect. And I could just Tailwind and take the Self Destruct here. Oh, I got a pick. Let's go Congador and Milotic. Done. Got it. Got it. Congador, Milotic. Final picks. <laughs> they were just like safe back end Pokemon. So we took them. I looked at the time. There was four seconds left. I was like, bruh, I've been talking too much. Let's go. But my trainer card already beat out this dude's trainer card. So you know we got the win. You know we got the win. But let's roll. Let's roll. I'm hoping to see what, well, the Rillaboom and Inteleon, what I said. Let's see. It, then it can actually work out nice. It is Rillaboom, Inteleon. So. Wait. What? Wait, what? What is this? This is not who I led. I hit the done button. What you mean? 
What do you mean? What is this? <laughs> I mean, I guess we'll take it. Kind of throwing him off, probably. It's kind of throwing him off. He's probably going to soak, to be honest. You can definitely see him soaking. I'm definitely going to Tailwind. Do I protect? I think I'm going to protect here. But you got to be soaking me. Like, come on. Get out of here. Let's protect. He's going to Dynamax and soak. Right? Is that what he's doing? Or he might do the other way around. He's just going to Dynamax and Talion. Yo, what was that? I had my Charizard plan all worked out. Robum, yeah, he's soaking. We'll protect. We're fine here. And I'm going to charm that next turn. He's physical attacking. I'm charming the buns off that dude. But yo, what you mean? My plan would have been simple. Would have been foolproof. My plan would have just been GG easy. So he's not soaking. He's not soaking. But my plan would have been so nice. Let's see what happens here. We're going to Tailwind. So I would have just flared onto the Rillaboom, probably just taken him out, get the Tailwind up, and then his water move would have did nothing, and then I would have rolled out. Next play coming in, we're protected, that's fine by me. We'll charm it up next turn, I still think I Dynamax this thing, and I just go from there. Let's see. He's going to boost his special defense, eh, which is pretty good. If I can just lower its attack, we should be chilling. Let's go charm. A little bit of charm action. Then I say I Dynamax, and do I Lightning? Do I Lightning here, or do I boost my defense? I could lightning and just give it a little bit of one-two slap ski. Or do I give it a max warm one? Hmm. I mean, special defense is up. We kind of need to go into a super effective move. So I'm going to drop this. Instead of dropping an attack because we got minus two coming on its way with the charm, which is going to be pretty big. But yo, totally threw me off. Totally threw me off. When uh, when you just sent out Whimscott and Doralda. I'm like, bro, I didn't even pick those dudes. <laughs> I didn't even pick them. And who else have we got? We got the Incineroar and the uh, Conqueror? Or was it my own was, I know we got Incineroar, and then we got either Milotic or Conqueror. Which, I mean, we can, we can make something happen. We can make something happen. Charm comes out. Yeet. This is why I love Charm. I absolutely love Charm. So good. Attack harshly falls. I'm going to drop a back lightning, which could potentially KO here. Unless, I mean, he has special defense boost, but is he Sash? He's not Sash. Beautiful. Go on. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Go on. Inteleon out of here. All right, so real boom. Not to worry about it. I might just Charm it up again just to, just to like, slap on it. But we have Incineroar in the back end. So, we don't have to worry about this. Anymore. What is he going to go for here? Probably another next week. Next Darkness. Okay, that's coming through. Onto my Whimsy Poo. Nope, onto you. That's fine. Eat it up. Tasty little snack. Uh, do I charm again? How, how should I play this? How should I play this? We got our special defense drop. I mean, that was probably more so for it. But I might charm it again. I might actually charm again, or I might Faith Tears what other Pokemon's on the other side. Let's see. Let's just see who it is first. He goes in with the Mimikyu. Okay, um, I think I just throw a Moonblast at that, take off the Disguise. Or do I charm that? I'm gonna take off the skies first, and then I'm gonna go into a total max warm one here. And just hit this thing and drop both their attacks. Like that that's just gonna be perfect. That's just gonna be perfect. It's gonna be shmoney shmoney. Just drop these stats, not even worry about these Pokemon. Moonblast comes out, takes off the skies. We're chilling. I actually could have took the Mimikyu out if I really want to. But I'm cool, I'm cool with this. If I can just drop these things attack. I was gonna charm it, but I was just like, yo, let's get the disguise off, and then I can drop this attack this way. Because we got the speed advantage all day. He might roll Trick Room. Honestly, I think he might actually do that. Hmm. Let's see. Because Mimikyu's been rolling out with Trick Rooms lately. Or he might Sword Stance. We'll see. If he Sword Stance, then I'll just charm next turn. And then maybe throw another uh, Max Worm one. Max Quake comes out here. We should be able to eat this up. He's minus three now. He's gonna get a special defense boost. Oh, is that a crit? Was that a crit? What is this? Come on. Come on! Are you kidding me? You can't make this stuff up, guys. You cannot make this stuff up. Bro, we, we were sitting pretty here. We were sitting so pretty. We got a third turn there. Dropped attack even more. Like, come on. You can't make this stuff up. That's so whack. He's going to run the trick room. That's totally fine by me. Oh, my lord. Yo, this game is doo-doo. This game is doo-doo. I'm coming out here. Dropping that attack again. Yo, are you serious? Ah, dude. Whack. It's so whack. I'm gonna come in here. I guess I'll charm this thing up. Or the what's it called? I'll charm the Mimikyu. Bruh. Whack. So whack. I mean, I get... Actually, I'll fake out the real boom. I'll fake out the real boom and just charm up on the Mimikyu. And just wait for his Trick Room to actually go out. So, Charmin. Charmin Ultra Strong. <laughs> but here we go. Dude, so whack. You really just crit my Duraldon as your minus three. Whack. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Don't withdraw the real boom. That's totally fine by me. 
He's gonna pop out with his third and final Pokemon, or fourth and final, but we already took that one. The Weezing! The Weezing Weezing, with neutralizing gas, so that's fine. Big out comes here. Yay. Gonna tip tap him up. Phantom Force is coming. Oh, you little biscuit. You little biscuit. He's biscuiting me. He's definitely biscuiting me. But Trick Room's gone. Um, how can I roll out here? Tailwind does peter out. Hmm. And I could start faked here. Hmm. But obviously, he's gonna go first in the Trick Room. So we're gonna pop a charm. I'm gonna go with a little bit of charm. And then do I just Snarl Barrel? And just start pestering around? Or do I Parting Shot out? I'm gonna Parting Shot out and get this Milotic up in here. That Quill, Hypnosis. Time to go from there. Let's see what happens. Parting shot comes. We out of here, dog. We out of here, dog. Drop that thing's attack and special attack. Over that Mimikyu goes first. Right? It should go first. And we'll get Milotic out here. Get a little bit of Milotic. I could set up a Tailwind, but I'm just going to be pestering around here with my uh, Whimsicott. Ledge Bomb comes through. We, we will Sash up. That's totally cool with me. And hopefully he doesn't Phantom Force into me. Hopefully it's going towards my Milotic. So we can maybe get another turn off. Or get this charm at least. Oh, you little biscuit. The Neutralizing Gas will take out, off that Intimidate. But I still have another Fake Out. I still have another Fake Out. Which is type nice. Right? Neutralizing Gas should take out this Intimidate. Or is it just for... It's just a, its abilities. So, yeah. No Intimidate. Neutralizing Gas is going to pop. I like how this thing's in a Dive Ball. It's kind of funny. That is kind of funny. But I could Snarl Barrel. I could Fake Out. Best play would be to put pressure here. And then just coil. Right? Just coil. I'm just gonna coil boost my defense because I think he's gonna drop into another Phantom Force. But I might as well just uh pester that side, let him drop a Phantom Force, coil up, and maybe coil up again in a little bit. <laughs> but bruh, so whack. This game is so whack that he crit there. A fake out yeet. Get yeeted on. Is he gonna, is he gonna Phantom Force again? Oh, we go first, yo. Trick room's in our favor. Might as well take advantage of this. Get that coil up, bang, yo, attack, defense, att accuracy, Phantom Force coming out, I'm chilling. Coil again? Possibly. I could put things to sleep. I could do all that stuff. Um, I'm gonna snarl, actually. This should drop that thing special attack. And then I, do I muddy water or boost my defense again? Because he has Rillaboom. So I, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to coil again. I'm just going to start Quill defense boosting up and just start dropping all these things, attacks and stuff. Snarl comes out. Obviously, the Mimikyu dodged it, but Mimikyu's fine. He's physical attacking. And we're just going to Quill up again here. While we have these Trick Room turns, we're just going to boost our stats here. Pons coming out here. You little biscuit. I can't Quill anymore. I knew I should have went into a Muddy Water. That's cool. Can't Quill after torrent. We eat all day. Let's eat. That's that's tasty snack. Okay, so now they got first turn advantage. Um, hmm. They have first turn, so that's kind of scary. Does he Phantom Force again? I'd say I just go this way, and I'd say I just throw Muddy Water this way. I'd say I just throw Muddy Water. He might Phantom Force again. I'm not dealing with it. Play rough. Okay, that's fine. We eat up all day. We still have our Berry as well. I really wanted that uh, Mimikyu out the way, but Muddy Water's going to pop. Can we get the Accuracy Drop? Get the accuracy drop on somebody. Show it to me. Yes, yo, on the Mimi Poo. On the Mimi Mims. Sludge Boom. Little Sludge Boomer. And we eat up again. Tasty. Bruh. Like, I can't deal with this bad luck. I can't deal with this. <laughs> Flare Blitz comes flying out here. Boop. Take him out. Let's not take him out. I can't deal with this bad luck. Honestly, it's, it's honestly whack. That is some mean poison damage. But Snarl, did we say Snarl takes that out? I said I just Flare Blitz into this. That Muddy Water again. So whack. We might have just lost this game. Super Poison might take us out. Who's protecting? He's protecting. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. We're going for Muddy Water and a Flare Blitz. Any need Phantom Forces. You biscuit. You little biscuit. You little biscuit. Can I coil now? Is my taunt over? You little biscuit, dude. You little biscuit. He's obviously going after me. He's obviously going to finish me off. That is so whack that he got this poison. But here comes our Barry. Barry's going to... Barry might actually give us another turn to actually win us this game. We'll see. We'll see. Milotic shook off the taunt. So, potentially another taunt. I'm cool with it. We're going to flare butts into you. 
Uh, do I read that? I'm just gonna go Muddy Water. My option here would be my. I, I have a defense boost here. Phantom Force is gonna pop here. We should be able to eat up all day. And then he's gonna go into another move. I don't think he goes into a taunt here. We go Muddy Water. We'll take that thing out, which is cool. Flare Blitz should be able to take this out. And we come down to a nice little 2v1. Like, this should be able to take out, I think. And we get to actually drop as well. Because if I lose this game, I'm gonna be fumed. Steam's gonna be coming out the ears. This dude hasn't missed an attack, and our Intimidate comes out, which is wonderful. He's gonna have to drop the Royal Boom after this. And Flare Blitz pick up the KO. I would love to see it. Let's see it, baby. Yup. Flare Blitz does pick up the KO. Okay. So it's his call. What does he want to do? Does he want to go to sleep? Or does he want to take out the Incineroar? Does he want to take out the Milotic and stop going to sleep? Which Milotic could potentially eat up a shot from this thing. Or does he want to take out the Incineroar? That's the call. That's the call. So I'm going to go for Hypnosis, Flare Blitz. And we're going to go for this win. We're going to look for it right here. He might actually protect. He might actually protect, but that's totally fine. Do I read the protect go for a quill? No. <laughs> that would be a bold play. He goes for fake out on him. That's totally fine. Can a sleep hit? It does. It does land. Thank the Lord. Okay, we should be able to just kind of just clean, clean up this match here. Do I just start coiling or do I just keep muddy watering out? Incineroar flinches and he goes down to poison. Come on, survive. Survive on like 13. Or 3, I meant. Oh my god, dude. This match, actually, I'm kind of still kind of scared here. So, Muddy Water's going to have to pop. Or do I start coiling up? I say I start doing some damage. I might coil up next turn. Yeah, he'll probably wake up this turn, to be honest. <laughs> Let's see, we have the coil. I think that was a strong play. Here we go, Muddy Water. How much damage we do this thing? I do do damage. Do do damage. Our defense is going to have to be our friend here. Uh, we're going to coil here. Get another defense boost, or accuracy boost as well. Oof. You wake up, what you mean? Dude, are you kidding me? You woke up like it was nothing and just won the game. This dude woke up like it was nothing. Are you serious? Ah, man, dude. Can't stand it. Can't deal with this game. Bro, what you mean? We play this one so good, he gets a crit, a poison, and he wakes up early. Um, Hypnosis is probably the call. Wait, did I boost my speed? Did this boost speed as well? No, it's accuracy, defense, attack, right? Right? Yeah. Bro, what you mean? What you mean, dog? Um, I guess we just go into a Hypnosis and look to get this win. Are you kidding me? This thing really just woke up. He's going to wood hammer out and say, GG. I'm done, yo. I'm so dumb. I'm so done with this game. <laughs> Bruh, that's whack. All we needed was one more turn of sleep. I would have been full health, ate that up, would have been able to set a money water, and just, just end it there. Like, come on, man. Come on. But GG to this guy. We'll hop into battle number two and see if we get a win that way. Second battle on its way. Hopefully, we can get some luck this time. Maybe. I'm going to go with the Charizard and Whimsicott this time. Make sure I click it in so the timer doesn't run out. And the reason I'm going for this is because the Whimsicott and the Durant could be a lead. And I'm fine with it. I can just, I have a Charlie Berry if he wants to drop a rock on me. That's easy peasy. Just light work there. And then who else are we going to? He has the competitive Milotic. Gotta watch out for that. Do I go competitive as well? Maybe for that Intimidate Arcanine in the end? Yes. I think yes. And then go into the Conqueror in the back end. Let's get it. This is the team that I won at last game. But we still should have won that last game. Like, you get a crit on my Duraldon. So I couldn't get a third G-Max move. Not G-Max move. Dynamax move. Same thing. And then he gets the poison, which basically takes out my Incineroar. My Incineroar still would have been alive at that end with the Flare Blitz because the Fake Out and then the poison took him out. Which, I mean, it's all good. Whatever, whatever. And then, what was the third thing? He got one extra thing. He got one extra thing. I totally forget what it was. But, bruh, what you mean? He got the crit, he got that, and something else. Oh, and, and the early sleep. And the early sleep. He was just like, I'll wake up here. Yo, we're not going Incineroar, my dude. I'm not about that. I'm not about that. We're going to see a Dynamax come out from the... Can we see a Dynamax come out from the Milotic? Potentially. Or he might just sleep me. I'm gonna go Tailwind. G-Max Wildfire. Um, I could set the G-Max Wildfire. I think I'm just gonna Overgrowth here. I mean, who could he swap out into? Hmm. I mean, if he does swap out. Do we think he might swap out? I think I'm just gonna, uh, take the Wildfire. I think I'm gonna just take out the Wimscott here. I think it's the play, because he might protect. He might protect, or he, I'm thinking he might swap out into the Arcanine. Something along those lines. But, let's see. If he does Dynamax, I mean... That's it. That'll be alright. 
Let's just see what happens. Let's see what happens. But we're gonna set this wildfire just to pester damage around for the next four turns. We'll be able to take out the Wind Sky after this turn is over if it is Sash. If not, we'll be able to take it out right away. And he does not Dynamax. He does not Dynamax. I think he's gonna go for the Hypnosis. Bro, we should just drop the Overgrowth. And he's gonna go for the Taunt. Wind Scott's going to Taunt me. My Tailwind's already up. So that's a waste of turn for him. Now let's see what well my charge is going to be able to take out this wild or this not this wildfire this whim scout with the wildfire and boop see you later punk this thing's sash but the wildfire is just going to take it out yeah, that's one weird thing this thing is solar power but but there's really no way to set the sun besides the incineroar unless they set it itself okay muddy water pops i'm totally cool with it we'll eat that up all day and then i go into the overgrowth next turn that's chilling that is chilling and then i'll get first turn priority he has no tailwind and I can potentially charm if he throws out a physical attacker or just uh, go for the special defense drop, which I might just do on that mile day. It depends. Let's see. He has leftovers. He definitely, it's definitely Coil. It's definitely what I had lit or the one on my team right now. It's definitely Coil, Muddy Water, Hypnosis, and what is it? Recover. But yeah, look at Charge Art Biceps. This dude's huge. This dude's a unit. <laughs> he has little like arm outlines. He goes Dragapult here. Um, are we going to say physical Dragapult? I think physical Dragapult, so I'm going to charm this thing up first. Maybe weakness policy. I'm taunted. That's whack. Um, I'm going to go here. And do I drop the Airstream? We have the speed advantage, for sure. I'm going to go Overgrowth. I'm going to Overgrowth over on this side. Because I can maybe see a Max Guard, something along those lines. Maybe him going into a Hypnosis. Let's see. Moonblast comes out. He doesn't even Dynamax. This Moonblast might be able to KO. Bill. See you later. See you later. We coming. We coming this game. I'm not playing around anymore. That last game was a fluke. That last game was a fluke. They needed Miss Attacks to beat me. They needed him. Now I'm coming in hot here. I'm coming in hot. They don't want it. Going for the Muddy Water again? What's this dude doing? We got the grassy terrain chilling. They need to get crits. They need me to Miss Attacks. They need to wake up early to beat me. They can't handle it. What's good? Wimscott avoids that attack. attack. Charizard will eat this up all day. Tasty snack. Tasty snack, baby. Now I'm feeling myself. Now I'm feeling good. We got that going for us. He's going to have a little bit of leftovers HP. Oh, wait. Well, no. Grassy terrain and then leftovers. Okay. Grassy terrain and leftovers doesn't work. I don't think this thing has protect. And then this third Pokemon is who he's going to have to Dynamax. It's going to be the Durant. And we got the speed advantage. And I can say bye-bye to this Durant. I can say bye-bye. I'm dumping on this Durant. <laughs> this thing's gone. Get him out of here. I'm gonna just moon blast everyone on the smile attack. Does, does this Durant maybe have protect or is he all? I still think we can kill him through the protect here. This thing is times four weakness over here. And then I'll have the speed advantage. I can come in with a mock punch later and just build him up. Say night night. But mile tick will die to the moon blast. I think this dude might just cancel battle. They don't want it. They don't want the sweep. Sweep potentially. Here comes the Dynamax Durant. Charizard is definitely gonna outspeed him because we have the tailwind. He went for the taunt. We said, nah, son. We went first. <laughs> and we went from there. But little bugger, big bugger, whatever you want to call it. The man coming in with his little antennas. No pinchers. He's got a guard here, right? That's got to be a fact. If not, I blast burn him next turn and he's dead anyway. Unless the Milotic just comes in. Let's see. He does have guard. That little biscuit. That little biscuit. But Moonblast comes in here. If this Moonblast takes out, we're chilling. Let's go. That's game. That is game over. That is game over. If our Tailwind runs out, we just Tailwind again, and we go into Blast Burn, and you guys already know Blast Burn's big damage. What is it, 150 base power? It's the Night Night sauce. It's just, it's just game over. Look at that. Doing a little burning on him. He's going to regain a little bit of HP, but not but not full, but not full. My Charizard will be faster. How many turns of Dynamax? I, I meant uh, Tailwind. We should have one, right? We should have one more. Let's see. Let's give it a quick peek just to make sure. Yeah, that is game, set, and match. I'll even charm him just to have some fun with him. I can't. I can't. Okay, so Moonblast is coming in here. Blast Burn. Look at this. 150. The target is raised by a fiery explosion. The user can't move next turn. It's okay. The game's going to be over. Blast Burn. Watch. You're going to miss or something. Grant's going to max guard again. Yo, what are you doing? It's failing. Now you're getting the dirty sauce. What you want? Look how much damage that did. It's not even very effective. Lightweight. Blast Burn. <laughs> Night night yo, that is how match one should have went, but with the Duraludon, but still sweep right here in match two We're gonna hope to actually pop off in match three and try to go two and one and get that winning record. Let's go, dude
going up against a Dragapult team for the third battle. If you guys are hanging out with me in this third and final battle, give me a little bit of hashtag no luck squad in the comment section down below. Because honestly, recently, I feel like my luck's been doo doo. It's been straight trash. We've been missing attacks and all that good stuff. But who should I lead? Do I go with Women's Cut Charizard again? I feel like that could be a solid lead. Um, I mean, he probably has Fake Out Goth to tell, maybe Hypnosis as well. Um, maybe not even go in with the Wimscott. Are I going with someone else? Maybe just Intimidate turn one? Does he have any... No, he doesn't have... Oh, wait, Competitive. Okay, that could be a Competitive Goth to tell. Totally forgot about that. I see the time. I see the time, people. We're going to have Wimscott Charizard again. I feel like that's a safe lead. I think we might just go same squad. We just might go same squad. Maybe get a chance to show off Conkador or Milotic in the end here. <laughs> but maybe I should just let the Milotic... Um, Whimsicott, that could have been strong as well. Start coiling from there. But I think he might go, actually, Gothitelle into Excadrill. And if he does that, I think I'm going to read the swap out of the Excadrill. And just go from there. Like, go for a max overgrowth on, over on the Excadrill swap. Potentially see a, uh, a Rotom swap. And just dump on the Rotom and make a big read. But I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm thinking too much. We got to take this one play at a time. Let's see it, baby. What you want? No luck squad here today. Let's see. Let's see what we got. See, Gothitelle... Extra drill. Do I do him dirty? Do I do I make the play? I um, he's definitely gonna fake out my uh He's definitely gonna fake out the what's it called? The Wim Scott. So I'm thinking maybe we'll see a swap out. We might set a trick room. What do, what do we really think is gonna happen here? Do I even set the tail one? Hmm. I mean I feel like we have the speed advantage regardless. I feel like my Charizard outspeeds that. So I feel like maybe we go into uh a fake tears. Like he's definitely gonna swap out there. That's, that's, that's fact. I'm gonna go for the tail one. I'm gonna go for the tail one. Probably gonna go fake out, and I'm gonna go into the overgrowth over on the slot because I can see him potentially swapping out. Let's just see what happens here. Here comes my Dynamax. Show me that he swapped. I think swaps actually come first, so never mind. Bad call on my end. Jeans is doo doo. I overthink everything. <laughs> we could have just went for that max player. I think he's gonna go hypnosis or fake out into a uh, Iron Head. Hopefully we can do some more, because this thing's got to be Sash, but I think he's going to just try and take out my Whimsicott, and maybe set up Trick Room next turn. But we'll see what happens here. Let's see what happens. He's Dynamaxing. He is Dynamaxing. Hmm. Gotta be extra, Joel. Gotta be extra, Joel, right? Dang, we should have just dumped on this thing. We should have just put him in the next week. I mean, if you want to drop a rock on me, that's totally fine. I have the Charty Berry, which I'm cool with, and he's going to set the Sandstream, which actually might give him the speed boost. Nope, he's Mole Breaker. He's, no, he's Mole Breaker. Let's see. He's going to go into the fake out, obviously. And steel spiking. Is he steel spiking? That could be tough. We can actually find out who's faster. My Charizard is faster, which is wonderful. Man, dude, if we would have went into that flare, we could have just dumped on this thing easily. That could have been easy peasy. But he's got to be going for steel spike. That's got to be a straight fact. Which, I mean, I'm fine with. He goes to steel spike. He goes for rock ball, yo. We will eat this up all day. Give it up. Give me this. And he's going to max guard next turn. Right? He's going to max guard next turn. That, that's probably a fact because he knows we outspeed. We'll eat that up with the Charty Berry. Helps us out big there. Big, big Charty Berry. Um, but that's our guard here. We'll definitely tailwind this. And then just set the max flare. Right? Nice little Charty Berry action. Right? He's got a max guard. That's got to be a fact. I don't want to waste a turn. I think we go into a uh, Wildfire over on the Gotham Tail side. And do we even need to tailwind? I say we, sit, we set up the tailwind for later, so... Let's do this. Or do I just charm? Do I charm and kind of just take that extra out of the situation? I think we can do that later. So we're just going to Tailwind here and just set this GMAX Wildfire. He's got a guard. He's got a guard. That's got to be a straight back. So we're going to go over on this Gothitelle. Come on, show me that this thing guards. If he doesn't, that's a huge play by him. A huge play, thinking that I'm going to go after Gothitelle. I think that's what he's thinking about, and that's why his turn is a little longer. The Garden. He's ally switching. You. That's actually fine by me. I'm going on that side anyway. I'm cool with it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's totally fine. That is totally fine. We'll come in hot with this with this G-Max wildfire So now it made me look like I'm a phenomenal player when really I just want that goth tell thinking he was gonna max guard But that works now I can say I read the ally switch. I'm a god. I'm a god. I read the ally switch <laughs> But there we go Charizard survives another turn we got tailwind up um I feel like goth tell still has to go I feel like that's a fact. I feel like Gothel just has to go here. It's going to take Buffett's and G-Max Wildfire damage now. And I get another turn with my Charizard, which is wonderful, which is wonderful. Do I go after that Gothel? I feel like like it, like it kind of has to go because I don't want it to Hypnosis or Trick Room. It has two possibilities. But like I wouldn't mind if it Trick Rooms considering I have slow-end Pokemon in the back with the Conqueror Milo thick. 
So we could thrive out in the end with that. But dude, the Charizard and Wimscott combo is just so strong. I really do think it's the strongest in the game. I really do. I just think it's it covers so much ground. It has a lot of coverage moves and just does work from there. But we go here to my Charm thing. I'm definitely going to Charm thing to not worry about it later. And then I'm going to go into a uh, another Wildfire as it is stab. Is it just stab? Stoop stab. But yeah, we're gonna go into this. I'm gonna charm it up. Hopefully it doesn't go for another ally switch. I don't think it will. Helping hand. Good thing we're charming this thing. Good thing we are charming this thing. He's probably gonna try to take out my Charizard with a like, Shadow Claw. Charm, baby. Drop that attack. Charm is the best. I'm telling you. Whimsicots with Charm are tier one. They are the best. Janice comes out. We should be able to eat. Yes, thank you, Charm. Thank you, Charm. And then we should be able to get off, off another turn here. Off another turn. I might just blast burn into that Whimsicott slot. Or not the Whimsicott slot. The, what's it called? The Mimikyu. I mean, he's just going to Shadow Sneak, so I might as well protect. I'll play that game. I'll play that game all day. We have that thing Charm, so I think I'm going to protect here. And just have the passer damage go through. And just let this tail win. No, we kind of want the tail win. Hmm. Let's see. Is that going to take? That might take. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee! So definitely protect, take off the disguise, or maybe charm up the other Pokemon. Because now it comes down to their last two Pokemon. And we have this thing charmed. Unless it's Sword Stance, it's going to be doo and it's a Rotom, which I could just fake here right now. Which, do I even fake here? I'm kind of kind of scared of this thing. I'm going to need my Conqueror to do some work on it. I have Rock Moon, but we Tailwind. How many turns left in the, in the Tailwind? Let's see. Let's see. How many turns in the Tailwind? We have two. We definitely have Protect coming from the Charizard. Buffet, we can survive that. And then I Moon Blast over on you. Actually, no. I don't Moon Blast over on you. Moon Blast over on you to potentially get the special attack drop? Yes. Do it. Zoom dirty. Like I said, I'm not worried about that. And then I protect here. Because you know the Shadow Sneak is definitely coming to take out my Charizard. So if we protect, we can waste a turn out here and get a Moon Blast and potentially get that special attack drop. But let's see. What you want, man? I'm reading you like a book. You don't want it. You don't want it. Just like that ally switched red. Yeah. I was thinking ally switched the whole time. <laughs> let's see. Protect. Shadow Sneak. Right? You're going for it. Gotta be. Move. No Shadow Sneak. Okay. Nice read, buddy. I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. Show me a special attack drop. Nope. <gasps> you booger. You little booger. These sword stands. I'm going to have to charm that thing down again. I'm not dealing with it. Dark Pulse comes out here. Block. We get the big block. Nice read. That was a beautiful read. Definitely a charm comes out here. We have to charm that thing. I'm not dealing with them. I'm not dealing with them. Take the buffers. Are the wildfires still a thing? Are wildfire still popping out here? It might. Yes, it is. Okay. Just pester around. I think we have maybe one more turn with it. Or that might be the last one. The grassy train. I set up the grassy train, which kind of neglecting a little bit of that. But citrus berry might pop here. Is this thing buried? It is not. Okay. Maybe it's a different berry. I definitely got to charm you. I'm not dealing with them. I'm coming in hot. I'm coming in hot. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why did I do that? This still might actually dig out. We'll see. He's probably Shadow Sneak taking me out. Actually, Charm might go first. Could be nice. You're definitely charming. You're charming. Yes. Wimp, wimp, wimp. Attack, harshly drop. Shadow Sneak will still take us out, though. Bye, Charizard. Rip, rest easy. Um, Conqueror comes out. Right? Conqueror? Yeah. Get the Conk Conk out here. Thunder coming out here. Ew. That's scary. That is scary. I'm surprised this thing maybe didn't nasty plot. And he gets to paralyze. I swear if I lose this match. He's, oh, this thing is life orb. Sandstorm subsides. So we have one more turn with the wildfire. That could be lovely. No, we do not. Whack. Actually, it comes after the, this. So we might actually. We do. Beautiful sights. Beautiful sights here. Conqueror comes out here. Potential mock punch. Finish off the Rotom. A little bit of Rotom. It's damage, baby. Um, Charms there. Tailwind does peter out. Grass disappears from the battlefield. And we get the boy out there. It conquer, 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 boy. Conquer, conquer, conquer. His mock punch should be able to eat this one up. And then this thing's charm, so he's either going to uh, go into a uh, sword stance. But I think we just play this one out slow. We got it in the bag. That's why we just moon blast over on you. And I just mock punch over on you to finish off the Rotom and take off the disguise. He might just cancel out the battle from here, unless he just protects with his Rotom. And, or maybe I'd be paralyzed and he gets lucky again. Dude, really got the paralyzed with a thunder. Like, I never get that. 
I never get that. I got flinched by a waterfall a couple days ago. Like, what is that? I know it has a flinch, but it's like, that never happens. It's like a one in a million chance. I might have did it once in my lifetime. <laughs> this dude does it and wins a match off of me, I think. Let's see what happens. Ally switch. Smart. Smart. But your what's called still dies. Your what's called will still die. Your real time still dies. He swords dances again. I'm totally fine with it because I can just charm next turn. But your road time still dies here. Bye, Rotom. And he has double ally switch Pokemon? Pretty crazy. Rotom's gone. This guy just stalling out his death. Just stalling out his death. Let's get it, baby. Looking like 2 and 1. Looking like 2 and 1 here. All right, if the, he, he's going for the lucky. Okay, I'm waiting for this paralyze to happen. And I'm just going to drop this Thunder Punch on just to knock off the disguise. That's what this dude's looking for. There it is. There it is. What you mean? Yo, stop it. Play Rough comes out here. We should be able to eat this up. Uh, no, never mind. Oh, we do. We do. Thunder Punch. Yes. Take off the disguise. Now we're looking good. Now we're looking good. So, Conqueror survives here. I still have my Milo tick in the back, so either way, I think we were winning this. But still, we need a little bit of luck. 3 HP. I'm telling you, this dude's just waiting for the paralyzes. And then Thunder Punch comes through. Come on, what you want, dude? This dude's so mad. He's mad. Shadow Sneak comes through, takes him out. My, I better not be paralyzed. Like, I can lose this game if I'm paralyzed here. Let's see what happens. Okay, Moonblast comes through. Connects. I think that takes him out, right? Does it? No, he's on a little bit. Drops his special attack, and then we're fine. We are totally fine here. My Lada comes in here. He's going to go try to take out my, my Lada. He's probably going to get a crit, take him out. Wim Scott's going to be paralyzed, and he's going to come through and win the game. That is, like, the only way. That's the only way, and... I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. Let's go here. Mate water. Mate water. Let's see what happens. He's gonna do me dirty. <laughs> Could you imagine? Great. Battle was canceled. There we go. We'll take it. We'll take it. 2-1 with this team. Like I said, should be 3-0 if it wasn't for our doo-doo luck. I still think Charizard is the top tier Pokemon in this game. I still think with him and Whimsicott, you can just run things and it absolutely dominate. I kind of showed that off in battle number two and battle number three. We just start off with them, let the Tailwind, Dynamax, and just roll out from there. So I think this is still top tier, best of the best. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone. Thank you.